go and get a different lasso tool. This time I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to go ahead and click. I found a starting spot. I'm going to click another insertion point, basically a point, an edge that it won't grab onto. I kind of messed up. Let me go back and fix that. You can't really go backwards this way. It's just going to keep redrawing. So what you could do is hit the backspace or delete key depending on the operating system you're on. This time I clicked to make sure it grabbed onto the tail area as I moved around the rest of the shape of the duck. It's basically recognizing the difference between the white background and the yellow duck. I see that I've completed the circle or the selection. All I have to do now is click now that I see that circle. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save that selection. Let me go down to the bottom of the select menu and choose save selection. I see that this dialog box comes on. I'm about to create a new channel. So what I'd like to do is name this channel and I'm just going to call it duck just not to confuse it with the name ducky that's my file name and you can see it's going to create a new channel. Let's go open up our panels. I'm just going to click at the top to do so and drag it out a little bit so I can see the channel panel. Click on the channel panel if it's not forward in your panels. I notice down at the bottom there's a duck channel. It shows where my selection is.